Yo guys, real quick before the video starts, I just want to say if you're enjoying our content, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and click that bell button so you can be notified every time we post a new video, guys. And with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Don't you worry. It's just you and me right now. Chris, what are you doing? Uh, I, I can explain. <laughs> are you talking to a piece of chocolate? Yes. Yes, I was. There's weird, and then there's you, Chris. Well, are you at least talking to a quality chocolate bar? Of course, it's chocolate from Switzerland, so it's the best. Mm, I wouldn't say it's the best. Have you tried Mexican chocolate? No, why? Chocolate came from Mexico. Wouldn't you want it from the source? Eh, not really. I'm happy with this. Chris, I'm trying to transition so I can explain this week's topic to you. Just. Close your eyes. Okay, dang. Hold my hand, then we'll dance in a world full of chocolate creations. Why are you dressed like an elephant trainer? <clears throat> What's desired by adults and children all over the world? What's with the voice? It's part of the character. Can you just answer the question? Free healthcare, cheap gas, and less traffic? No, the answer is chocolate. Wait, who's behind you? Oh, that's Chico Bonito. He's one of my helpers, and he has the voice of an angel. Come on, buddy, do your little song. I am here to bring you cheer. I put a smile on all my peers. I'm not from Earth, I'm not from Mars, but I carry chocolate bars. I see. So what's all this about? To fully appreciate chocolate, you need to know where it comes from. Chocolate comes from cacao trees, which are native to southern Mexico, and the Mesoamericans were the first to use cacao beans to make chocolate. The Aztecs believed that the cacao seeds were gifts from the gods. They used them as a form of currency, and they also used the seeds to make a frothy chocolate drink. Like champurado? Kind of. Think of it as the first champurado ever. But thanks to their discovery, chocolate became a huge part of modern Mexican cuisine as well. It's in their drinks, candies, baked treats, and even in some dishes like mole. Oh man, all this chocolate talk is making me hungry. Don't worry, Chico Bonito has you covered. Here I am, happy to do my dance, take this chocolate bar and make it last. Wow, it has such a rich flavor. It's decadent. It's perfect. Ramon, donde esta mi chocolate? Looks like my time here is done. I must add, this was very fun. Tell your friends, tell your foes, because now it's time for me to go. He set me up. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this new episode of Mexican Survival Guide. Please let us know in the comments what chocolate you like. And make sure to follow us on our social media platforms. Follow us at The Crazy Gorilla. And, and my personal one, Hav Casanova. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys later. Mwah!